Okay, so today we've got the, my top four things that people complain about when I tell them on keto, their top four objections. Let's get into it. Hey, hello everyone. Steve here again with Keto Fasting Life. And it is just about Christmas, actually. Tomorrow is, no, today. Today is Christmas Eve. And uh, a lot of people are thinking about what to eat at uh, this time. And you know, we're having a bunch of people over to our house for Christmas on Boxing Day, actually. And it is a challenge for sure if you're gonna live a keto lifestyle, only because you gotta feed everybody else. So we're, yes, we're gonna have mashed potatoes and all those and cranberries and all that kind of stuff, none of which is on the keto diet, but we're also gonna have things for ourselves too. The turkey, of course, is great, and we're all having a, um, some ham as well, which is fine. Um, but I'll probably mash up some cauliflower instead of mashed potatoes and those kinds of things. And sort of, of course salads and all that kind of stuff is great. So we'll have no problem with our feast. Um, anyway, today I wanted to talk about uh, some of the... When I first tell people I'm doing this, this is crazy diet, they, they say, oh, they have all these objections or questions that they think, oh, I couldn't do that because of these things. So here's kind of my top four uh, things that I hear from people about, about switching to ketogenic before I get into details and talking to them about it. So number one, because when I say to people it's low carbohydrate and very high fat and saturated fats like this. So I talk about bacon and all that kind of wonderful stuff. And uh, they say, well, isn't that going to clog your arteries? Uh, that kind of thing. What about your heart? Aren't you concerned about that? Well, that's very interesting. <clears throat> um, actually, I just watched a good uh, uh, documentary, low budget, but good, called Fathead. It's worth taking a view. You can find it on YouTube if you're looking for it. <clears throat> and it talks about um, how... This idea that eating fats and saturated fats uh, causes problems with your arteries and your heart is, was really founded on some very poor science. So things like, <clears throat> they did tests years ago where they would feed people lard to see what their reaction would be um, testing out high fat. And these people developed heart problems. So there you go, proof. However, they go back nowadays and look at what was done back then and they fed them lard between two slices of bread. And it didn't occur to them that maybe it was the bread that was a problem all the time and not the lard. So more recent studies that have been done in the last 10, 20 years have shown, no, it's not the high fat, it's actually the high carbs that cause all the problems with triglycerides in your bloodstream and arteriosclerosis and those kinds of things with, with plaque buildup. Um, so it's a high carb. So there you go. Keto diet is, is a good solution for that. The other one that is common out there, I'm not sure why, is that well, where are you getting all your vitamins from? If all you're eating is a bunch of fat, where do you get your vitamins? Well, that's not all you're eating is a bunch of fat. You're eating tons of vegetables. <clears throat> so I eat tons of leafy greens and spinach and, and lettuce and that kind of stuff, along with broccoli and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and all kinds of great vegetables that are very, very high in, in vitamins and minerals. So there's, there's no issues there at all. If you're not eating those things, then you're going to have issues, but that's always the case. <clears throat> the other one is that people say, oh, I couldn't do without carbs. Or, Don't you feel tired all the time? Well, that's another one that's not true either. Because actually, once your body is adapted to burning fat rather than burning carbohydrates, uh, the ketones that flow through your bloodstream are actually a much better energy source than glucose is. So the, the odd fact is that once you get off carbs and get your body fat adapted, you actually have more energy. Many people find out uh, that they have more energy during ketogenic. In fact, there's a lot of uh, fitness people and bodybuilders who actually use the ketogenic diet plus a combination of some fasting to get their ketone levels up high for higher performance in the gym and doing their athletic uh, activities. So, no, you don't get tired, absolutely not. Um, and then people's biggest complaints is it's too restrictive. So I love my cakes and my muffins and all this kind of stuff. And yes, you are gonna give those things up. Now, there's tons of recipes out there for ketogenic um, uh, treats. Uh, fat bombs and that kind of stuff and different things made with I have a cheesecake I made with the thing is they all use some some sort of a non-sugar Sweetener if you're looking for something that's sweet you could have it sweet. So uh, There's there's things like stevia or stevia however you want to say it, which is which is a good one um, Erythritol is the one I've kind of cottoned on to recently um, they're, they're all different and they all work perfectly well uh, they don't all work perfectly well, I shouldn't say that. Some of them actually spike your glucose, so look into that. Actually, there's a great video on a uh, channel, Keto Connect, which I'll link you to, which goes through, uh, um, the, the Matt and Mega did a, did a test, 
and of different sweeteners and how it spikes your glucose. I'll put a link down below in the description. You can take a look at that and get some good information there. Uh, anyway, where was I? Yeah, so anyway, those are kind of the two sweeteners, um, stevia and erythritol that I've been using recently, which I quite like. Now, they all have their things. They, 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 have a, they, they taste like sugar, but not, they're not sugar. They have a bit of an aftertaste to them. They're different than sugar, so you have to kind of get used to it. And, uh, <clears throat> and if you don't like it, then you don't like it. I'm sorry. But uh, there's lots of dessert recipes out there. So you're not really giving up your desserts. Um, but you know what? You actually, as time goes by, you start to lose your cravings. I know it sounds crazy, but you do. I no longer crave sweets. It's, it's bizarre. Um, I more likely crave peanut butter or bacon. Anyway, so uh, those kinds of, that's kind of my, like my, my top four pe people, uh, uh, things that people ask about or complain about or have objections about is the, the high fat in your heart, uh, where do you get your vitamins, um, aren't you going to be tired, and it's too restrictive. I got to tell you, I, my, I've been drinking skim milk since I was first married, and to me, that's restrictive because I was always taught high fat is bad. Now I'm drinking homogenized milk, milk, and in my coffee, if I put cream in my coffee, it's 35% whipping cream. It's spectacular. So yes, you do carve some things out, but now you're adding all those other things back in that you've been avoiding all these years. So I don't find it restrictive at all. I love the diet. Anyway, I hope, uh, I wish you and yours a Merry Christmas, since Christmas is tomorrow as I'm recording this. Um, by the time I get it up, it might be yesterday, who knows. And uh, I will have lots of videos coming up. We're going to do some recipe, vid recipe videos as well, because I've found tons of recipes out there. And of course, I've mucked with them and modified them to make them suitable to me, and I'll be posting them up shortly. So, if you don't mind, give me a like, hit the subscribe button. It helps out. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.